Faith, according to Hebrews 11.1, 1, is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. This means the belief you have in your heart concerning what you are yet to see, having an undaunted resolution in your heart that a particular thing will surely come to pass. There are various aspects to faith. Your belief and walk with God can be summed up in the word faith. Hebrews 11.6 says, And without faith it is impossible to please God, because anyone who comes to Him must believe that He exists and that He rewards those who earnestly seek Him. Faith is very pivotal to the Christian life. The beginning of faith is believing that God exists and that He is all-powerful without any limitation. When you have faith in God, you trust God beyond your physical reality. Faith is when you suspend your human reasoning and believing against all evidence like Abraham that God can do that which he said. This is another aspect of faith. Overthinking will make you see a thousand and one reasons why something cannot happen, while faith will make you see the mighty hand of God that can do all things. A man cannot receive anything from God without faith. You can't please God without faith. Your heart will not stay rooted in God when it is void of faith. By faith, you move mountains, do the impossible, live above minimal level, and walk in divine abundance. A life with faith is void of worries and anxiety about the future. Be not weak in faith. No matter how dark it may be right now, your faith will bring light to the situation. Let your faith overshadow the doubt. Don't survive on a grain of mustard seed faith. Strive to grow in faith. The stronger your faith, the more you receive from God, and the closer you will be to Him. Do you desire a more intimate relationship with God? The key to that is faith. Trusting God only and never looking to anyone else or anything else for answers. The opposite of faith is fear and doubt. When Jesus was walking on the water to meet his disciples at night, Peter requested that he join him. He started walking on water towards Jesus. That's one of the phenomena the human understanding cannot fathom. But he started sinking the moment he allowed fear into his heart. God repels fear and reiterates all of the scriptures that his children should have faith in Him. Trusting God with all your heart without looking to the left or right for an alternative is the call God has given to all His children. Abraham walked with God in total dependence and trust and gained himself the title Father of Faith. Let's examine his journey and pick out lessons from it. God called him out of his country to go to a land that he would show him. Abraham took his wife and all that he had and left. That is faith. He took an act of faith by leaving the known for the unknown, something most people will consider foolish. When God tells you to do certain things, it might not make sense to you or anyone you decide to share it with. But just obeying and seeking out like Abraham did it's the bedrock of walking with God. When you look at Hebrews chapter 11, you will see a common phrase that runs through the chapter, which is, by faith. By faith, this person did this. By faith, another did that. Now, my question to you, what are you doing by faith? Do you wait until you have everything figured out before taking action? Then you are not walking by faith. Faith does not mean you jump on a project without proper planning and preparation. Faith is believing before seeing, trusting in your heart that God is able and taking actions to back up your trust in God. 
When the angel came to Mary with the joyful news that her womb had been chosen to conceive baby Jesus, the process of the conception looked impossible unto her, but she chose to believe. She took an act of faith by going to Elizabeth to learn about pregnancy. You have to believe that the cancer is gone even if you can still see the signs. Waiting until you can physically see changes before believing is not faith. In the healing ministry of Jesus on earth, he will often say to the people who came to him, Be it unto you according to your faith. And instantly they received what they were looking for. In this kingdom, you have to believe before seeing. I want you to trust God with your heart and never allow the devil to sow the seed of doubt into your heart. Believe that the Lord will come through for you and turn the night into day. Never doubt that you will sing for joy concerning that situation you have been mourning over. Rely on the promises of God. Read and meditate on them. Speak them over your life, over your family, health, and every sphere. Don't focus your attention on the negative things around you. Keep looking up to God and acting by faith. Proverbs 3, 5 says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not unto your understanding. You have to depend on God as you walk through life. Need a job? Trust in the Lord. Want to get married? Trust in the Lord. Want a prosperous business? Trust in the Lord. When you put your life in God's hands and allow Him to lead and guide you every step of the way, your life will go smoothly and you will save yourself from the headache and confusion of trying to do things on your own. When you don't walk by faith, you walk by sight. You'll be forced to depend on men. That can be very damning. Don't put your trust in anyone because they are as limited as you are. Let your total confidence be in God and His Word and never allow anything to take you out of the faith wall. Never doubt, only believe. Let's pray. Thank you, Jesus, for being a loving father and compassionate friend. Thank you for opening my eyes to the things I have forgotten. I'm sorry for trying to do things my own way when I should have trusted in you. Forgive me for seeking my own path when you have shown me the way you wanted me to go. Lord, I surrender to you this day. I believe your word concerning my finances. I know I will never lack anything good anymore. It might not look like it right now, but I choose to believe you. Strengthen my faith and hope in you. When I get caught up in doubt and fear, help me find my way back to you. In Jesus' name. With the eyes of faith, I see every negative situation in my life turning positive according to your word. Help me, Heavenly Father to keep my mustard seed confidence in you. However, I request that you water it so that it may grow. God, lead me. Please give me the courage to stay on course. Dear Heavenly Father, I cling to you. You know how frail and weak I am. Let your power come down upon my life and make my faith stronger than any voice from the enemy. Help me walk in wisdom, accuracy, and divine perception in Jesus' name. You are my rock and fortress, my God whom I will trust. Though the way seems dark, I'll keep trusting in you. Though I may not see how you will work it out, I choose to trust in you all the days of my life. With man, many things may be impossible. But with God, all things are possible. Please make all my plans succeed. Clear away obstacles and make my path smooth. Father, your word is dependable and your promises are trustworthy. When I'm afraid, I know I can turn to you for refuge. 
Please remind me to trust you whenever I face difficulties. Teach me to always rely on you when I am faced with hardships. Carry me through difficult times. Lord, uphold me firmly with your right hand that I may not give in to temptations. Help me to always depend on you. Help me to always remember that you're never late, but always on time. I pray for the spirit of patience and perseverance to wait on your promises, yet without losing hope, just like Father Abraham did. Grant me the grace, Lord. Please strengthen me. I covered the audacity and courage of Father Abraham to launch out to the unknown without questioning. Lord, I know I can't do this based on my human mind. I always love to analyze and strategize. I admit my limitations, Lord. I ask for mercy and grace to believe your ways, to trust you to guide me without asking questions. Let it be released unto me, Lord. I also pray for a noble heart to dutifully receive your word at all times. May this be granted unto me, in Jesus' name. Father, open my eyes to see you. Open my eyes to see you at work in and around me. Nothing happens by accident. You plan every detail of my existence. Help me to believe in what I can't see and to trust in your unseen presence. I trust you, Lord, over my business, that you will perform your miracle of abundance and multiplication. Over my health, I believe that you will bring every sickness under my feet. Over my academics, I pray that the spirit of excellence and wisdom will rest upon me in Jesus' name. O oh God of heaven, let my life be a living testimony of your intervention and power. Let me overcome every fear that has held me down in captivity. Help me to walk with you in total confidence and dependence. Take my eyes away from the things of this world and, and let my gaze be fixed on you alone. You are my God and I will take action on the things you have asked me to do, even if I don't understand. I will respond like Mary and faithfully receive your word in my heart. I also pray for the grace and spiritual stamina to live by faith and not by sight, to discern by the sensitivity of the spirit and not by physical evidence. This shall be released upon me. In Jesus' name, give me the grace, dear Lord, to study, meditate, and memorize your promises concerning my life, so that when I face any situation, I will be able to rest on you and never entertain doubt in my heart. You are the creator and ruler of the world, God, and your words hold each and every cell in my body together. As I ponder on your sustaining power and provisions for the birds and beauty for the flowers, strengthen my trust. May my faith in you increase daily. I give you all the praise for taking all fear away from my heart. I receive the heart of faith to depend on you right now. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen.